Hey, it's the SPI guy here again to tell you about the newest scope we've got. That's right, Thermal Weapon Sight T70. Now, a lot of you guys may be familiar with the T60 because SPI sold all the T60s there were. If you have one of those, 99.9% .9 chance you got it from us or somebody that got it from us. Uh, it was an awesome thermal weapon sight, but this is the new one. Just came out to replace the T60. This is the T70. This, my friends, is a real thermal weapon sight, military thermal weapon sight. There's a lot of scopes out there that are military style. This is the real deal, used by the United States military. This thing is just awesome. Uh, it's a 645-12 scope. Uh, what they've done a little bit different is they've taken the feedback from the real world guys, uh, people using these in missions from the T60 and the T50 you might be familiar with. The, that's the low end model with only the 320 core. You know, those scopes all had that periscope design where it went forward and then up and the objective lens was up higher than the eyepiece. Uh, the reason for that was a couple of reasons. One, gets you over the iron sights. A lot of the guns have these iron sights that you can't take off. Gets you up and over that. But also the core using that was an older core. It was a bigger type of thing. The T70 is using the latest 17 micron core they just came out with. So what that does for you, the 17 microns, what that does is it's a, it's a smaller package, first of all. It also lets them use a smaller lens and still get you the same downrange performance. So you get an overall smaller package. We've got this nice inline design that people seem to prefer. Of course, like the T60, the T70 is a clip-on. Pop it on, just like that, onto your rail. Right in front of your day scope. This is an ACOG. Boom. Take it up to your eye. You're ready to shoot. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, Thing to have is the clip on, no bore sighting, no change or anything. But what this does, the T60 doesn't do, is it can also be used as a standalone. It's got a reticle built in. You can adjust it. It's a 5.56 reticle and a 7.62 reticle. You can adjust it. You can sight it in. Use this standalone. Basically, if you didn't have your your ACOG here, you'd have this over back here, just like it was the ACOG itself, ready to be. Sight it in, sight it in, bore sight it on the range, boom, you're ready to go. Now you've got just a standalone thermal weapon sight. Really nice and easy. you got this button right here for focus, or it's actually a knob. You turn this to focus. Uh, all your controls are really nice on this. The controls are awesome. They took this from the same things they learned with the M18, if anybody's got any of those. Uh, real nice handheld scope that they've got. But you've got this little joystick control. This thing is awesome. It's very tactile. You can feel it. It clicks when you move it uh, to just anything. Adjust your color palette, go up. You want to uh, adjust your, your zoom, half one, two X zoom, you push it down. Your LIN versus DDE. Linear is basically a nice smooth image in here. DDE makes the image a little more grainy, but it really brings out the edges of things. So when you have a low contrast scene, it's hard to see targets. You go into DDE, you get a little bit of grain, but boy, things really pop out. Good to shoot with. Uh, you come back this way, of course, towards you. That's your polarity, black, hot, white, hot. That works in any color palette, by the way. This button right here is your calibration because this is a real military thermal weapon sight. Put your cap down, do your quick calibration on this. If you, if you hold it in, it does a calibration. If you push it real quick, you get your sub menu comes up. That lets you change your reticle, adjust the screen brightness, um, adjust video, turn on and off video output, restore your defaults, a couple different settings in there. Not, not a lot you really need to do with this. It's kind of a plug and play device. You do have video output on it. One thing I got to show you on this that is really, really neat. This, this is amazing. It may seem like a little thing, but to me it's incredible. The battery compartment on this. Like I said, they took a lot of feedback from people in the field. People that actually, you know, FLIR, they make thermal for the military. They have for years and years. They listen to the operators and they know what to do. Basically, what they've done with this battery compartment is because over there in, in theater, there's, if you can imagine, the tremendous amount of batteries they got to carry over there. So you got tons of batteries, AA, CR123s, all that nonsense. You know, CR123s, you go get those at CVS, they're like five bucks a pop. Uh, AA batteries, dollar a piece, right? Which would you rather use? The same problems over there. They've got pallets of batteries. Who has the CR123s? Who has the AA's? They got to bring them over there. This thing runs on AA's, three AA's, right? Or two CR123 batteries. That's right, either or. The way this uh, compartment is made, you can put in either or. You might think that's confusing. I know you all probably got kids out there. You got devices that you use. You open them up. You got to put the batteries in. You're like, well, where's the plus, the minus? I can't see it. Is this the right polarity? Does it go to the spring? Uh, that's a common problem we all have on our kitchen table. Can you imagine? This is a night operator's device. Can you imagine being out in the dark and running low on batteries and needing to change batteries in the middle of a mission and trying to figure out 
which one goes up, down, which way it goes, which way it goes in. That's what they've done on this. It's so incredible. You can put batteries in any direction you want. Uh, really, any way. You put one up, one down, three down, three up. You know, I showed this to my Marine Corps sniper buddy and told him, hey, man, you can put these batteries in in any direction. He said, you can put your mother in in any direction. I said, no, really, man, check it out. I put one this way. I put one that way. Put one this way. He said, no, no, no. So I said, okay, we'll turn this one around. I'll put this one that way. What do you think? Closed it up, turned it on. He took a look. You know what he said? I need to apologize to you and your mother. That's the most incredible thing I've ever seen. It really is. It really is cool. If you've played with any electronic devices at, at all in your life, you know that that's pretty groundbreaking, especially it's one of those things you go, why didn't I think of that? So obvious. This is a night operator's device. I'm not going to be able to tell plus and minus at night, which put the batteries in. That's all you got to do. Turn it on, look through it, boom, you got an instant thermal scope. One thing I will tell you though, this is really cool. If you put the batteries in, in this specific calibration here, two down, one positive up, close it up, turn it on, it'll really image nice. It, it does a very special picture imaging there. Very, very nice, very nice. Of course, I'm just kidding. That was a joke, guys. It doesn't show you the girl. Anyways, this scope from FLIR T70, really awesome. Also comes with this neat remote. The remote mimics what you got here. You got your joystick and your menu button. You plug this in and you mount this up on your rail so you don't have to take your hands off your rail while you're out there. Uh, really nice feature. Got the video cable. Comes with a bag. Everybody loves the bag. Pelican cases are out. That's old school. Bag is the way to go. It's a nice padded bag. It's got compartments for everything. Holds it all. T70 thermal scope, the latest evolution. Uh, everything the T60 was and 10 times more. Awesome, awesome scope. Uh, one thing I will tell you that I can't tell you enough, this is a military scope. This is not military style. You guys seen all these scopes out there? Everyone's selling them, mill style, mill standard 810. That means nothing. All that means is that you met a little vibration or a shock stick. This is a mill spec scope. This thing's submersible to 66 feet. You bang it on. This is a scope. This is for combat. This is going to hold up to anything you can put to it. We've all seen these other military style scopes out there. Bang those on the table. <laughs> That's what happens. You know what I mean? This is the real deal. I'm sending this one out right now to my buddies down at Coronado, a little sniper school. They're going to test it out, do a little T&E, give me some feedback, hopefully some nice video. And we'll be sharing that with you guys soon. Uh, this is the guys from SPI showing you some more great stuff. Give us a call. Check us out, x20.org. 